heart. I stood by him for over 40 years in ministry. I had to learn something. <laughs> Amen? Amen? He did thousands of funerals, and I helped him. And I said, Lord, I know how to do one. What am I counting? I spent 40 years with this man. I know what I'm doing. And then I come down to the message, and, and the Lord again spoke to my heart. He said, you're in a natural death, but we're in a spiritual celebration. So then I changed my message. And, and then I learned, as I began to learn these things, I realized that serving God is totally backwards. Hmm? You know what I'm talking about? It's backwards. Sometimes when God tells you to move forward, he wants you to move backward. Sometimes when he wants you to be still, you get fidgety and, and you want to move. Serving God does not make it hard. Don't let anybody ever tell you that serving God is hard. Amen? Yes. Because when you serve God, he's already made that path for us to be perfect and, and easy because Jesus done walked it. Amen? If it was hard, he said, don't have faith as big as a mountain that you can dry up the ocean. But he said, have faith as small as a grain of mustard seed, and you can tell the mountains to be removed. Amen. Is that hard? <laughs> it's a little bit. <laughs> he said, just a tiny bit. <coughs> I went down to the part where I had half of a grain of mustard seed faith. But that half a grain would carry me through to victory every time. Amen. Mm -hmm. And every time I looked at the word of God, it was something so easy. He said, most of all, he said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children, children of God. God. Amen. Yes. He didn't say you're going to be called an elder of the, uh, of the kingdom. He didn't say you're going to be called... A, a preacher of God, which we are, don't have nothing against it. But he said, you're going to be called, if you're a peacemaker, you're going to be called a child of God. Now, there is a difference. When you're a child, this ain't my message. Let me get off of this. <laughs> but when you're a child of God, that's totally different. My, my, I, I finally legal adopted my three little ones. And boy, I tell you why I don't need physical therapy. They keep me going. <laughs> Not only physically, but also in the Word of God, because I'm teaching them, showing them. And they know, they know the Word of God. But this morning, I am coming out of Genesis. Oh, I forgot to tell Terry when I came in. Uh, chapter 18. would be press forward. Press forward. Hmm. And it's out of Genesis chapter 19 verse 26. Hmm. Heavenly Father, I ask you for a blessing on your word. I speak your word to the north. I speak your word to the south. I speak your word to the east and to the west. I speak your word here in the house of God and the surrounding area of community. I speak your word, Father, because it's powerful and we need it in this day and time. God, sanctify my mind, sanctify my mouth, sanctify my heart, that I can stand before you through your word with clean hands and clean heart. God, truly, and I bind every spirit that would try to come in and hinder your word. And Father, I pray, God, that it be the best in word that we would have you to do. Truly, God bless this church and bless the pastor, and I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. As I begin to look at the word of God, I found 